Uh, yeah. Like a summer league team might have some action. They might have some action. Yeah, they blew the game. They blew the game against Miami Heat. I think this was the last game in the California Classic. They did end 0-3. Rodney missed game two. I'm glad he came back for game three because I damn near was going to say he was ducking. Um, I know he only had three points, but if you clowning Bronny after this game, that's how I know you didn't watch. Bronny actually was impressive this game, and Bronny showed some life. Bronny got some action. But let me, you know what I'm saying, we don't start with the losers first, so let me talk about the Miami Heat, what I saw from them. Keyshad, is it Keyshad? Keyshad? Keyshad Johnson, man, out of Arizona. I thought he played a great floor game. I thought he was very impactful. April 14, 21 points, eight rebounds. If his jumper fall a little bit more from three, because I think he went like three for eight from three, if I'm not mistaken. If his jumper was a little bit better, he would really have some action and really probably could crack that heat rotation. But I don't know, man. We got to see what he looked like in Vegas. But uh, I thought he looked very good on both ends. His defense, his activity. It just seemed like he was the most impactful player, best overall player, offense and defense, for the Miami Heat today, or yesterday, I'll say. Uh, Josh Christopher had his moments. Uh, he didn't play as much as I thought he should. Uh, I'm kind of upset I didn't get to see Khalil Ware and Pele Larson in this game. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Alondis Williams. I did want to say this about Alondis Williams. I like Alondis Williams. He was player of the year when he was at Wake Forest. He a big guard. I think he about 6'4". Got some size to him. He's athletic as hell. He can shoot uh, to a certain extent. He went three for eight, but, you know, whatever. He can shoot to a certain extent. Oh, Keisha Jansen went one for four. Alondis Williams went three for eight. But Alondis Williams, he could shoot. He could get to the rim. He was getting to the rim. Him and Castleton, I don't know if y'all seen that, but him and Castleton kind of got into it. Castleton was telling him to, to pass the rock before the Lakers end up blowing that lead in the fourth quarter. Um, but I really like what I say from Alondis Williams getting to the paint. And say, dog, this is where scouting comes into play. And it's all about opportunity. So y'all seeing Alondis Williams would look good on the Bucks. Y'all seen Alondis Williams can't go to the Nuggets and play as that uh, six man off the bench because I think Reggie Jackson gone. I think he gone. They trying to get re- see Jokic is trying to uh, recruit Russell Westbrook. You can go get you a discount. Go get Alondis Williams, man. Start understanding these players coming out of college and they archetypes and give the opportunities to those who deserve it. Because Alondis Williams, he got the athleticism, he got the size, he got the confidence. He got the track record. You got player of the year at ACC. Same play, the same conference where Duke is, same conference where North Carolina is. Duke could play. Uh, who else did? Nobody really stuck out on the bench. Because, like I said, we didn't get to see Pelly Larson. We didn't get to see Khalil Ware. Zion pulling. He wasn't really noticeable to me like that. So, uh, Brown. Brown from Michigan State, I forget his was he, is it Greg Brown? I, I don't know. Brown from uh Michigan State, he wasn't there. Eh. He was there. Eh. But that that's it for the Heat. I thought that was a great comeback. They showed some intestinal fortitude. But I will say this. If you watch some of these games and you just like a real basketball fan and you get to see certain guys together coming out of college and they get to play together, I love the summer league, uh, because now let's get to the Lakers side of this. I thought Lakers actually played a really good game, bro. I thought the Lakers really had a really good game. Um, well, uh, Lewis, Lewis, I'm, I'm forgetting his first name the way he played, but dude, dude started out like 0 for 10, bro. He was missing bunnies after bunny. He was missing layups. He was damn near looking like a deer caught in the headlights, man. But he was terrible in that first half. I really like what Kuzi was doing, the point guard out of St. Mary's. I ain't going to stunt. When I be looking at him, dog, he look a little – nah, I ain't going to see it. I ain't going to see it. But that bald head, it kind of be having me feeling some type of way. Um, Dalton Connect, it, it, he had a type of game that you go get out of a guy like that. 
Sometimes the jumper go fall and it's gonna look good. Sometimes the jumper not go fall and it's not gonna look good. He had a nice reverse dunk. That reverse dunk, that, it was nice. That was nice. That was nice. I liked it. He had a couple plays. He had a couple pull up mid ranges. He had a bully in one. So Dalton Connick showed some things. He wasn't just super efficient. Two for eight from three, seven for eighteen overall. Um, Bronny James. Bronny James. But I thought Bronny James played excellent. He ended up being a plus eight. He had the second highest plus minus on the whole team after Colin Castleton, who I'm going to get to, who I felt like was the best player in the whole game. But Bronny James, his activity on defense, his anticipation, his hands, uh, his strength. Like, Bronny really knows how to play defense. He's fully committed to a team game. Looking, being able to be Bronny James and to be fully locked in on being a role player in summer league is, is you know, it's commendable, bro. It is what it is, bro. He only took three shots. He had three points. But look at this. He had five rebounds, three assists, two steals, three blocks. Like, he was still contributing to the game in a lot of ways, and he was very impactful on defense. Now. Is he a case in Wallace on defense, a Gary Payton a second on defense, a Davion Mitchell in terms of just like foot speed? I think I, I don't know if it's foot speed or what it is defensively. I think he's just not educated defensively like some of these guys. Like he knows how to play defense, he gives effort, but I don't know if he's educated in defense, like knowing where a guy wants to where a guy wants to get stand in front of him because he know he's trying to get over there. like just little small stuff with the defense but i i thought he he played a great game man he played a great game especially defensively i thought he he doesn't never he never try to make it about him that's one thing i've always loved about Bronny. i still don't agree with his decision to not go back to college and try to become the guy on somebody's team and really learn the position because cool is he taking the ball up the court and playing point guard that's cool but Bronny, you six two dog you not gonna be able to play shooting guard for real for real bro you're not gonna be able to do it you got to play on ball it's good you can play off ball but you're gonna have to play on ball bro um blake henson wasn't all there but i like this lake of summer league team even though they blew the game, I like this Lakers summer league team. I'm I, I'm actually interested in seeing what they do in Vegas. I hope they keep the same team together. I hope it's the same starting five. I really like the starting five, bro. I feel like they complement each other well. Colin Castleton. Y'all telling me Colin Castleton ain't better than Jackson Hayes, bro? Colin Castleton is better than Jackson Hayes right now. He is. Like, damn near it. Say, bro. A stretch, four stretch, five, six, ten. He had four blocks. He had 11 rebounds, a couple of steals. He had a plus 13, plus minus. He had 18 and 11, bro. Um, he had some great passes. He hit a three. I think Castleton can play, bro. He's agile. He's not slow. He's not no plod and big. He can move, bro. 6'10". Say, man, I'm just saying it's rare to have a guy like that, and he can get buckets. Kyle Kyle, he been a he could score, bro. He's been a good player, even when he was at Florida. I thought he was a really good player. Uh, but all in all, um, I can't think of Lewis first name. Let's get into me, bro. Let's get into me. I I I gotta look up his name, bro. What's his name? Lewis Lewis. Uh, Maxwell Lewis. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That just was bothering me, bro. But Maxwell Lewis, he had some good slashes in that second half. He had some good playmaking moments. He could rebound the basketball. Mm, he had 14, 8, and 5. I, I'm liking this lineup, bro. And I hope I want, I really want to see what it looked like in Vegas. Now, I really like Blake Henson, too, but he played terrible. He was 1 for 8. Traore. Yeah, but the bench gonna need some work. Blake Henson and Trey Ori probably the only two guys on the bench that I wouldn't mind see play. But I like the Lakers summer league starting five. Uh, but shout out to Miami Heat. They the count the comeback from behind. It was like two minutes ago. I forgot how much they was down, but they 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 finished the comeback. It was some some 
It was just some great play. This was a good game, man. Lakers, Bronny, they showed some life, man. Bronny got some action, bro. Don't just look at that three points. Bronny played good, bro. You know. But it is what it is. But I'm out, man. Found some shit I love to do, so I can look comfortable. Searching for a peace of mind. Need that when it's time to rhyme. Perfect in every line. Any chance I get, and I know it takes time, but I will never quit.